Bonjour, you sick bastards. It's day two of the 12 days of Sodom, and today's country is France. Uh, like many of you, I struggled with trying to find a movie that wasn't one of the, as Scotty Willie Mark one called them, Fab Four French Extreme Horror, including Martyrs, High Tension, Inside, and Frontiers. But I managed to do it. This one is a little subtle for extreme horror, but I think it's still very, very STF. Uh, it's Trouble Every Day, directed by Claire Denise, or Denise and Claire, I'm not sure which name goes first. But, uh, basically, this one's kind of hard to come by. Uh, I was looking for some copies on Amazon before I did this video, just to check the availability, because I don't even own it. And, well, that's not saying much, I don't have much of much, anyway. But, uh, price, uh, the DVDs are kind of pricey. There are a few cheap copies that you can get for like ten dollars, but that's really about it. Anyway, uh, the basic plot is this woman has a disorder where her sex drive and her appetite kind of work at the same time. They coexist or something. And she's a nymphomaniac. And that makes her a nymphomaniac cannibal. So, <laughs> I don't know what more you can say other than horny cannibal. Horny cannibal lady. And, uh, that sounds very out there and in your face, like it'll be kind of silly, but it's really not. It's a very beautifully done movie. It's kind of a love story, but uh, very dark, very subtle, very eerie. And I don't use that word often. It's got a very lonely feel to it. And part of that is because of the awesome uh, score that the Tinder Sticks did. If you're not familiar with them, look up some of their songs. Really cool stuff. I'll be adding the main theme from the movie to this video. Called Trouble Every Day. But, uh... Yeah. I just remember uh, watching it on a movie channel late one night. A couple of years back before I really even got into the extreme stuff. And just being lured by it. And there's just... One scene in particular, like, there's all kinds of, you know, things you can leave up to the imagination when I say horny cannibal, but one scene in particular is she just has this guy pinned down and she's, like, kissing him and biting his lips off at the same time and laughing her ass off and the guy's doing this pathetic cry and it's just one of those, one of those torture scenes where you're just kind of like, oh, poor fella, but yeah, uh, trouble every day. I could get away. That is my pick for France. Before the sunshine leaves your eyes. But I need to know how to find a place.